In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to blur out an object in Final Cut Pro. So stay tuned. Welcome back to another tutorial video using Final Cut Pro. This is a pretty cool trick that you can do if you want to blur out an object in your footage, whether it's moving or stagnant, it's pretty easy and the process is going to be pretty much the same whether it's moving or not. So what we're going to do is go ahead and jump into Final Cut Pro. All right, so we're in Final Cut Pro and you can see the video footage down in the timeline. And what I want to actually do is blur out this license plate in the footage here where it's visible. And what we're gonna do is use object tracking to track the license plate as I move the camera around. And to have this go the smoothest way possible is I'm gonna break the clip at the start of when it starts to show in frame and then when it stops. So that way it's not trying to find the object in the other footage when it's not in the frame. So you'll see I have it marked here where it starts to come into the frame where you can see the numbers. So I'm gonna hit command B to start a break there. And then I got this other mark where it's out of frame now and I don't need that blur effect again. So I'm gonna make another cut using Command B. So this object tracking and blur effect is only gonna happen in this clip right here that we have selected and not the rest. So I wanna find a good frame where the whole object is in place. So right here where you can actually see the full license plate and my arm and stuff's not in the way. So to add this blur effect, we're gonna go ahead and go to the effects tab. So make sure you have that selected here. Go down to blur and there'll be several different options. Play around with them. In this one, I found that the second one down works the best, provides the most blur that you want. Um, compared to the directional, it doesn't add a whole lot of blur. You were still able to see the numbers. So I'm gonna click on that and drag it up here to the preview window. We actually do not drag this on the timeline, which I thought you would, but nope, in order to track the object, we bring it up to this preview window and you'll see that it starts trying to track an object. Even if it doesn't, make it the same size just go ahead and drop it down and this box will pop up and we can actually resize this box depending on the size of your object so what i'm going to do is since i only want the license plate itself i'm going to adjust the size of this to roughly the same size of the license plate and you'll see that depending on the amount of this blur effect you have that it kind of feathers out a little bit so if i decrease this or increase it you'll see on the size of the lines of the square, it may actually be bigger than the square size itself. So just play around with that and get it to where you want it. I'm gonna keep it around 50%, but I'm gonna try and make this about the size of the plate. I'm gonna bring it in here just a little bit. And then if you want to mess with the blur boost, depending on how blurry you want this thing, you can adjust that up here as well. So once you have it to the size of the shape that you want it to blur out, we're actually gonna track this object and up here using this analyze tab. So we're gonna click analyze and it's going to actually play through the footage and track that object that it's gonna blur out. All right, so once it actually tracks the object, we can go ahead up here and hit done. And you'll see right here, the license plate is blurred out. All right, so let's go ahead and play this back just to see what it looks like. See, it does start the blur effect right there where we have that break. And it does a pretty good job blurring out just the license plate that we had selected. And like I said, you can change that blur effect if you want it blurry or less blurry, play around with that. But that's pretty good because it does blur out the numbers and then that goes away once the license plate is out of frame there. And then there were several other areas where I went back and you could see the numbers. So I just made new cuts there and then added that uh, blur effect back in wherever you can see that license plate cover there. And if you have multiple objects that you need to blur out in the same clip, just repeat the process that we just did. We're gonna drag a new blur effect up here and drop it over another object. And you'll see you can apply this one to the secondary object. And if you wanna change it from the square um, to a different, maybe a radius or a circle, this upper left-hand corner where you see that white dot, that's the one you can click and drag on and kind of change the corner radius down to a circle. And then you can adjust the other dots here and really kind of fit it to whatever you need to, especially if you're trying to mask out somebody's face, um, you can make this more in shape of their face if you don't want anything else there. So definitely something that you can play around with and 
uh, really cool if you do need something blurred out in your footage. Uh, makes it super easy with that object tracking and changing the shapes on this. And then also the intensity of the blur. There's also a pixel effect in case you like the look of the pixelation instead of the blur, you can choose that as well. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to blur out objects in Final Cut Pro. That's all included in the software. So I did not use any expansion packs or anything like that. So all the tools are right there for you to make your editing a little bit easier. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you want some more tips in Final Cut Pro, go ahead and check out these other videos.